you struggle with pull-ups, it's time to fucking level up. It's so easy, a baby can do it. All right, get some. Good. Good, Axel. Keep going, bud. Good job. Great work. Pull-ups. To me, these have always been a staple from when I was an athlete to a bodybuilder. And I have everyone that I've ever trained in person do these, whether they're assisted, whether they're banded, or whether they're just free weight, meaning you're on body weight. And I've honestly had guys doing with chains and weight vests strapped to them, if they're really good at them. So, you know, to me, the, the pull-up is essential for many reasons, right? So if you're an athlete, it's gonna be good for grip strength. It's gonna be good for working your entire upper back and your arms. So it's a compound motion in my mind. If you are a bodybuilder, it's gonna be great for your upper back your lats, depending on what grip you take and how you use them and when you place them within your workout. So let me show you what some reps look like, things to do, things not to do, and then we'll break down when we put them in the workout, while we put them in the workout, and the sets and reps. All right, there you have it, guys. No matter if you're doing neutral grip, shoulder width, or wide grip pull-ups, to me, they all should it look the same, right? So I think about keeping my chest elevated, I'm driving my elbows down towards my pockets, and then I'm coming to full extension over the bottom. Now, there is some also, in my mind, some very big, important keys we can do from bottom half pull-ups. So really working the stretch and really stretching the upper back and lats out. And you're only coming up halfway. So if you think about, I'm gonna turn around here so you can see it. So think about doing like a back to bicep, step, right? So I'm here to there, here to there. And it's like, I try to envision doing a back to bicep step when I'm doing those bottom half wide grip pull-ups. Those feel absolutely amazing. Now, let's say for example, you guys aren't strong enough to do them free weight or with added weight. The assisted machine, if your gym has one, those are incredible because it allows you to stay really vertical and upright and not sway back and forth. And then let's say you don't have one of those, we can do a band. So we just simply reverse band this, hook it around our feet. We'll show you the video here of how to do it. And then all we're doing is using the band to help us up. And then as we come down out of the weakest portions over the weakest in a pull up from here to here, it's gonna help us. And then when we're strongest here to here, it's giving us the least amount of help work resistance, so to speak. So with pull-ups, to me, they're placed best to either as a warm-up exercise for upper body, or if you're doing for lats, I like to do them after doing straight arm pull-downs or even a dumbbell pull-over to where I can really get a good warmed up lat and then right into these banging reps on the assisted pull-up machine. That's how I like to do it. Now, if I wanted to do like regular pull-ups, I would wait until a little bit later in the workout or the session when my entire upper back is really thoroughly warm. And then as you'll see in this video that we did at any time, I did it with the prime handles to really ease my elbows and shoulders. Uh, and again, that's another great variation of grip if your elbows give you a problem on pull-ups. Because sometimes people complain, oh man, like doing my own body weight in the off season, my elbows just get absolutely wrecked because they're fixed, either neutral or pronated. And that pronated grip is hard, or especially a lot of heavier bodybuilders that aren't flexible like myself. So that prime handle, and you can do that with D handles as well. Um, let me show you that really fast. All I have the D handles here, just any standard. That's so I'm gonna hook it around the top of this pull-up bar, right where that bend is, on both sides. And then from there, look, you can do, I'm gonna show you the grips here we can do. We can do fully neutral, you can do semi-pronated, you can even go semi-supinated here, or what my, one of my personal favorites is to come down on a stretch in a neutral, and then as I pull up, I rotate my hands. So let me show you a couple of those. So we're here, one, two, three. Last point of interest here that I wanna talk about on pull-ups that I see done wrong all the time is the swaying back and forth, the jerking, the kipping, all that stuff. Now, if you do CrossFit completely normally, do those things all day long, you gotta do them for performance, doesn't matter. But if you're in about physique modification, increasing the size and density and thickness of your back, let me show you what we don't wanna do. I see a lot of people, they start swinging, or they start swinging and they can't control their body up and down. That's because your abs aren't tight and your glutes aren't tight, so squeeze those two. So watch what I mean here. Glutes in, abs in, up. Glutes in, abs in, up. I'm not getting a lot of forward to back play. Now, the next thing that we're talking about, jerking, being crazy with your chin. Let me show you what a couple of those look like. This weird stuff of humping and throwing your head. <laughs> Stop. Up and down, be smooth, be methodical. There you have it guys. All things pull-ups. At the end of the day, sets, reps. If you can do more than 15 with your body weight, 
time to add weight. If you can't do 15 body weight, then you need to do some assisted. So what I like to do is I'm gonna do four sets. I'll do two assisted, two body weight, or I'd even transpose that and do two body weight, two assisted. Again, do not be scared of the assisted pull-up, guys. It's a great piece, drills your lats, and just give you some resistance so that you can stay perfectly flat up and down. So I like three to four sets of this, and honestly, I go right to failure. There you have it, guys. Another great exercise library video for you, the pull-up, in all different types of modes and variations. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe. And until next time, Chris and CB.